What is up guys? It is DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with another video for my channel. Today I wanted to bring you guys a cool video on a zinger item like some disposable razors but I've been using these for a long time and I like to give you guys valued items or items at work. Items now there is tons of videos on them but there is just some details that I see in these videos that I don't see or uh, get related so I wanted to kind of give you a really good insight on some of these items that and some information that I just don't see out there. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. DJ Martini Midwest reviews, tutorials, guys. If you like tutorial videos, review videos on tech or some zingers like this video about some razors, uh, please tune into my station, guys. I just like to bring you guys information. Uh, I'm just trying to help um, bring you guys easy information, do some research for you guys so you guys don't have to, and that way you guys can make some decisions on these products in the future. I'm gonna have links and descriptions and, um, you know, some ways to look up these items in the comments so check that out and if you guys are interested they will be there for you guys if not other than that guys thank you guys so much for liking subscribing uh, all my subscribers are awesome and they have awesome feedback as well but let's get into the video so today we're talking mostly about Dollar Shave Club I've been with Do Dollar Shave Club since 2013 they came out in 2012 I got my first starter pack and I was able to stay with Dollar Shave Club since then because they've just been really easy to get uh, items from and really inexpensive as well. So uh, the first razor I started off with, of course, is the Humble Twin. And you can still get these, um, but uh, Dollar Shave Club is promoting, promoting their new razors. They have a four uh, blade model and a six blade model. And you can get them in stores. You can get them online at dollarshave.com. And, um, but you can still get these older razors as well. I don't know if you have to be grandfathered in or anything. Uh, you can probably just talk to their customer service and you'll see these and you'll be able to get them. Once you get on uh, and you sign up or you order one of their new razors, you should see all their items uh, in there. So this is the dollar, or sorry, the Humble Twin. Uh, very, very inexpensive. It is $4 for a handle and $4 for four cartridges. So that's a dollar a cartridge. It's really, really good value. Um, it's a good shave, guys. It's just extremely easy to use. It's two blades, and I noticed that two blades don't really mess with my skin. I have a little bit sensitive skin, and I shave probably every two days. So uh, I don't want anything that's going to really irritate my skin. And we'll get into that a little bit with the blade technology and everything in here in just a minute, but I kind of wanted to just say, this is a really easy to, razor to use. This is my original handle too, so I've had it for like eight years. Um, it works really easy, you just hit the button and this will detach and then you kind of, you see the little hooks, you'll just hook one side and then the other side just clips in. So really easy to use. Uh, it has that strip on the top and two blades uh, offers a pretty decent shave. It's not painful at all. I remember using the yellow Bic uh, razor that had the uh, one blade and when you went against the grain, uh, it hurt. Uh, I didn't really like that, but having two blades is definitely offers uh, a smoother shave uh, in my opinion. Uh, so the Humble Twin is an easy way to get a reliable smooth shave and it works really, really good. Good blades, solid construction, uh, on the handle and you're only going to be ordering these uh, replacement cartridges for a dollar a piece so you're going to get four for four dollars sent to your house uh, monthly or bi-monthly if you don't shave as much you can get every two months uh, very very cool program and awesome uh, really love the humble twin all right now they do offer other models like i said they have a four blade and a six blade new model that they're uh, the interchangeable handles and cartridges uh, that's out right now. I do not have those. I have some of the older models, but it's pretty similar. So I'm gonna show you these two. This is the four uh, handle for the four uh, blade model, and this is the executive handle for the six blade model. These are the older models, so I'm just gonna put that out there again. Uh, but they did offer, they're pretty similar to the new models, but uh, they do offer six blades on this one, and it was a four blade on this one. Uh, I do like this handle though because I really liked the curvature in the handle for under the chin area and around uh, the jawline area. It worked, it worked really, really good. Um, but I just noticed that with my skin these days, 
uh, getting a little older, uh, I get a lot more irritation shaving. So I went down a couple pegs on uh, as many blades. So let's talk about the blade issue now. Uh, this one had four blades. Uh, this one had six blades. Now on a six blade model, you can see how thick that is. That's a pretty big cartridge head. So it's kind of, you can shave faster because you got more surface area and that type of thing, but it's a little bit more cumbersome when you're trying to get into certain areas like maybe under your nose. And uh, this one does have an edger on it, but I can't really get under my nose like I'd like to because of the angle you have to be at to get this in there. It still works a lot better than others that I'll show you here in a minute, but um, it's still pretty cumbersome trying to get into certain uh, small areas, okay? But you can shave faster. It does offer a smoother shave, so you'll get a, a nice smooth shave uh, because the technology behind it is with the, the blades. Uh, if they're spaced properly, you're going to get a smooth shave, and also that first blade is going to catch the hair, pull it out a little bit. Second blade is going to catch it, pull it out a little bit more, and down the line. And then that last blade is going to cut it. So you're getting that super uh, close shave when it comes to more blades. But at the same time, more blades will offer uh, more irritation as well uh, to your skin because you're using more blades, uh, you know, to cut those hairs. So uh, I'll give you some tips a little bit later, but uh, when I shave, uh, I tend to use less blades like, like that Humble Twin. So, But the uh, all the razors from Dollar Shave Club, I've really enjoyed. So I haven't tried their new ones yet. Uh, it's in my list to do, uh, but I'm sure they're just as good as like the Executive and the 4X in the past. So uh, these ones will cost, uh, the handles are $8 and the uh, cartridges are eight dollars I believe let me double check that in my uh, yes so yep cartridges are eight dollars and the handles are eight dollars so everything's eight dollars so pretty good uh, pricey points for these as well there's two others I'd like to talk about today that has nothing to do with Dollar Shave Club, and that's why I kind of want to make it all inclusive about disposable razors. Now, technically, these, these handles you could keep for a long time, but the uh, cartridges, of course, are disposable. So uh, let's talk about some others, like this Fusion 5, which is uh, another, I got this uh, recently for Christmas, and uh, I actually do like this a lot. I'm still, of course, going to use Dollar Shave Club, but uh, the Fusion 5 offers a really smooth shave. This was buttery soft. It has this uh, lubrication uh, strip up top, and then it has this little guard right here, and uh, along with whatever shave cream or gel that you use, man, this thing was just extremely fast to use and just was buttery smooth. It felt really, really good. My problem with it is the trimmer is kind of garbage to me. I, I really can't use it at all because uh, you have to hold this at an extreme angle before it catches. So uh, the trimmer, uh, you can see that I'm holding this at an angle. And let's see if I'm, yeah, I'm catching right there. So this is the angle. So when you're at that angle trying to get under your nose, I don't feel very comfortable with razor blades at, at my nose at that angle. And plus, I can't get into the gap between my upper lip and my nose. So this really doesn't work for me at all. And so I was really disappointed at that edger on this particular model. And so that's one thing that kind of holds me out from giving this a really, really high kudos. And on all the review videos I saw for this, nobody really talked about that edger being at such an extreme angle, guys. And just to show you that this is the uh, executive from... Uh, Dollar Shave Club, it has an edger as well, but the edger catches let's see, right there, right there. That's the angle, and then this one catches at right there. So you can see it's almost like it, it's really extreme. <laughs> uh, I can't believe how uh, they built that to be the edger like that. So you can't really get into really tight places if you have to be at such a crazy angle. So. Uh, this is the Fusion 5 though, so the Fusion 5, 5 blades, uh, it does have lubrication strip, uh, extremely buttery smooth shave when you're just using it normal, uh, but had issues with the edger, so we'll put it that way. 
And the last uh, one that I kind of wanted to bring you is the uh, Extreme 5 from Schick. Now, this is a truly disposable razor. It's all plastic, all that kind of stuff, and you truly just throw it all away. No replaceable cartridge for this particular model. Now, they do make models from the Schick 5 with the Hydro 5, Extreme 5, that you can replace the tops, but you have to make sure you look for that. But this is an, this is an absolute disposable razor. Now, the only reason I like these, you get two in a pack and they're $7, pretty inexpensive. They offer a decent shave. I don't think the spacing on the blades is quite great for that smooth shave, but uh, the, way I, the way I use this, I keep this around um, and I'll keep it around for like three to six months uh, because I don't use it often because I only use it for the edger. Now, uh, you can see right there that the lubrication strip like I said, I, it's not my favorite uh, act to use as a shaver, but the when you flip that down, it becomes an edger, and this thing is absolutely fantastic for edging, and I wanted to bring that to you because I haven't seen any videos on it talking about it, uh, but you can really get, I can get right in there underneath my nose, um, uh, you know, I can do eyebrow, I can do uh, sideburns, whatever, around my ears. This thing is fantastic for edging. Uh, I wouldn't say it's the best for uh, your daily shaving, but if you just keep it around as an edger, as a precision edger, it really is a precision edger, and I love it for that use, and I will keep it around. I, I have it sitting next to my uh, humble twin, and I shave with my humble twin, and then I'll pick this up and edge with this because I really like it. And it's going to last a long time because you're just using it for edging. And so and it comes in a pack of two. And like I said, when you're done, you just throw it away. But like I said, it's going to last a couple months if you're just using it for edging. If you're using it for shaving and edging, then yes, it's not going to last that long. But if you're just using it as an edger, like I said, I've had it. Uh, I'll hold on to these for probably three to six months uh, just using it as an edger. And they work really, really good. So I wanted, wanted to do the positive for the Extreme 5 or the Shrik Hydro 5. Um, they have a, a Hydro 4 or an Extreme 4 too that has the flip down top for the edger. So uh, so that top blade is at the edger. So you can get right into close crevices there and really get whatever you need. So really good edger on this. I had to point that out. So you get that in a two pack right here like this. Uh, and like I said, you can see it's Formerly the Hydro 5 or the Precision Trimmer Extreme 5. Uh, right there, guys. Five blades. But, like I said, I don't think this one offers the smoothest shave that I've ever... I actually think the Humble Twin is more comfortable. But the trimmer on this is fantastic. So I keep one of these and my Humble Twin. And I'm able to you know, get a really good close shave and edge everywhere I need to. So... Uh, you pick those up for $7 at Walmart, between 7 and 9 depending on where you're getting it. And like I said, you'll get two disposable razors, and they work fantastic, guys. The Hydro 5 is a little bit more expensive. This is about $10, and you'll get the handle and two um, cartridges. So you'll get one cartridge on the handle and one extra cartridge for about $10. You can find that at Walmart or Amazon. Um, the cartridges are really expensive. Um, I think four are $13 and eight are like almost $25. So the cartridges are expensive. I'm not a fan of the edger on this, but I am a fan of the uh, shaving with this. So uh, that's about the price point with this, but they're a little bit more expensive and you can see the value of a dollar shave club when you're getting a humble twin for $4 and $4. So $8 and you're getting replacement cartridges for $4 a month. So you can see the value there when you're paying for eight cartridges on this one, it's about $25. Pretty crazy. Um, so that's there. Um, back to Dollar Shave Club, like I said, we already talked about four and four for the Humble Twin. Uh, it's $8 for the cartridges on the older models, and it's about $10 uh, for cartridges, and you can get four of them for the newer models. So, And you're gonna get at least uh, five to 10 shaves out of each cartridges depending on your skin or your skin and your hair thickness and how concentrated your hair is and stuff like that but uh, so like I said I say five to ten um, but you know so you can you know four cartridges 
technically they say to replace your cartridges every week so four cartridges should last you a month and that's why they offer to replace your cartridges every month so um, very very good edger on this one five blades like I said uh, very very good on their brand new razor that they just came out with and like I said it has four blades or six blades depending on what you want to use those are ten dollars for replacement cartridges and I think the handle is eight dollars so uh, that's out there as well and I can kind of show you the four blade model there uh, lubrication strip uh, clips in but like I said this is a older the older handles and cartridges okay they have a new one out but you can still get these if you want you just probably have to uh, get in there talk to customer service or uh, order their new model and it should open up all the uh, cartridges and handles too once you uh, order so one more thing I wanted to talk about is of course the shave gel and the um, quick shave tips um, I use sensitive because I have some sensitive skin, I get some redness and stuff when I shave. Uh, but I really like the D Gillette series sensitive skin. This is the 3X, $3 a bottle at Walmart. Absolutely pretty inexpensive to me, but I like the gel. I just think the gel lathers a little bit and feels a little bit smoother than the cream. People might disagree with that, but I really enjoy the gels. And um, I've really enjoyed the Fusion Pro Glide sensitive gel as well. It has a little ocean breeze scent, but uh, really really good because uh, I, I don't think like when you use creams it usually gets really thick on you I like a light layer of you know just uh, enough to cover everything not really super thick and the gels provide that for me and I can kind of arrange it the how I want to and then uh, pretty much when I shave guys uh, like I said the sorry the Gillette fusion four dollars the other one three dollars uh, Amazon Walmart quick tip on shaving guys your razor should do all the work for you guys so when you're shaving I always uh, of course I want to shave down uh, with the grain but technically most razors are made to go any way you want however you need to especially around the chin area or the uh, mustache area though usually going down uh, but around the jawline you're probably gonna go against the grain there so most uh, razors are pretty made to be either way smooth um, to get it done but I think the key especially if you have sensitive skin is to get let the razor do the work don't press super hard uh, but just go in a nice smooth all the way down uh, don't kind of go because the more you're rubbing your face the more irritation you're causing so you want to do a nice long stroke and then if you have any you know extra stubble that you missed or anything you can make another pass but you don't want to go because you're really causing that irritation and especially when you're using uh, multiple blades because those blades idea behind it is that you know that first blade is pulling the hair second blade pulling the hair more third blade pulling the hair and then finally you're going to cut the hair with that last blade so you get that extremely smooth shave and the hair is going down as far as possible into your skin. So that's kind of the idea between, you know, six blades and four blades, two blades. Uh, they do say, they do at least recommend two blades compared to that one blade that we used to use back in the day. Um, but yes, so that's kind of the methodology behind it. But like I said, um, like I said, if you do a consistent long pass, I think it, it, uh, it reduces that uh, irritation that you're gonna get from shaving uh, so just kind of a little tips and tricks behind that in my opinion those are, I'm not a doctor or professional shaver or anything like that cosmetologist or anything like that uh, but I do know from shaving for 20 years that that's helped my skin by not you know doing multiple passes over the same area and just doing a nice long shave around and, and let the razor kind of do the work. That's why you want a decent razor with, you know, pretty sharp blades. Um, and so far, the Humble Twin has been worked great for me. So um, I really like that. So I've gone over prices on most of them, gone over my tips, gone over my gel, uh, gone over how I kind of shave. The only other thing I wanted to kind of bring up to you if I didn't bring all ready is that uh, before I had Dollar Shave Job, the Mach 3, Gillette Mach 3, was uh, an, an absolutely good 
uh, value for me. I used it a lot. Uh, it was $9 for the handle and four blades, uh, four cartridges. Uh, it's a three blade uh, cartridge, but it comes with four cartridges and it was only $9. So it was an extremely good value at that time for me. And that's kind of what I kind of went to was the Gillette Mach 3. And I still think it's a really good razor today as well if you guys uh, are looking for a value and not looking for crazy blades. So overall guys, like I said, I'm extremely happy with the Humble Twin and I use it uh, every two days. So I've been using it for since 2013 and I've extremely like it. Um, the Fusion 5, I've used it for about a month. Uh, like I said, uh, I got it around, well, I've had it before Christmas, but I've gotten another one for Christmas. Uh, but extremely smooth shave, but I really don't like the edger on that. So, uh, so like I said, I'm still gonna stick with the Humble Twin. And then, like I said, you know that I use the uh, Extreme 5 for just edging so i think it's a great edger and it's good to have around if you just need to do a quick edge somewhere so um like i said i think uh, dollar shave club is a good ticket if you guys want inexpensive razors and save some money as well um but i'm glad i got to bring you all this information guys thank you guys so much for tuning in it's been dj martini midwest reviews if you like this video it's been helpful in any way please give me a thumbs up and uh, let me know what you think and um, also tell me what you guys think if you guys have any other razors that you think are exceptional and you kind of want to throw them in there let me know other than that guys thank you guys so much for tuning in it's been dj martini midwest reviews and we will talk to you guys later